this is the second class of chapter 6 the triangle and its properties today i am discussing exterior angle of a triangle and its property let me draw a triangle here you have triangle abc now let me produce bc now you can find an angle at c lies exterior of triangle abc this angle acd we can call it as exterior ang angle of the triangle ABC formed at vertex C. Then what about angle BCA? Angle BCA is an adjacent angle to angle ACD. It is adjacent angle. Now, what about angle A and angle B? Angle A and angle B, we can call it as interior opposite angles or remote interior angle of angle ACD. Angle A and angle B are called two interior opposite angles or two remote interior angles of angle ACD. Now, now let me move this angle and keep it here. Let us see what will happen. This is angle B and angle you can see it exactly cover angle ACD. So what do you understand from this? We can say angle ACD we can measure of angle ACD you can write it as measure of angle A plus measure of angle B. That we can return as measure of angle ACD. M angle ACD means measure of angle ACD is equal to measure of angle A plus measure of angle B. Let us see it by actual measurement. Here ABC is the triangle. Now I produced AB so that angle CBD is the exterior angle. Now what are the interior angles of angle CBD? Interior opposite angles. Here angle A and angle C are the interior opposite angle. Let me measure those angles. Measure of angle CBD is equal to 142 degree. Measure of angle A is equal to 98. Measure of angle C is equal to 44. Now add these two angles, angle A and angle C. What will you get? Angle A plus angle B, that is 98 plus 44, you will get 142 degree. Here, angle CBD, that is exterior angle, you will get 142 degree. That means exterior angle and the sum of these two interior opposite angle you are getting equal. Now let me change the size of this triangle or change the exterior angle. Here exterior angle is 145. Then interior opposite angle 112 plus 32. Both case you are getting while adding you are getting 145. Now let me change this angles again. In all the case you can see here exterior sum of the interior opposite angle is equal to exterior angle. So we can conclude an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its interior opposite angles. Here you have two questions. Simply write the answer. An exterior angle of a triangle is seven. One of its is Interior opposite angle is 25 degree. Find the measure of the 
other interior opposite end do find it out the next question two interior opposite angles of a triangle two interior opposite angles of an exterior angle of a triangle 60 and 80 that means interior opposite angle are 60 and 80 you have to find out the exterior angle do find it out here you have h is 6.2 find the value of the unknown exterior angle x in the following diagram you can write question 1 exterior angle is equal to x interior opposite angle is equal to 50 plus 70 you can write exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angle here exterior angle is equal to x in question number 1 so you can write x is equal to 50 plus 70 then find out the answer similarly the other question also you can do it here is the second question find the value of the unknown interior angle x in the following figure look at the question number 1 here exterior angle 115 interior one angle is equal to x other angle is equal to 50 degree so you can write sum of the interior opposite angle is equal to exterior angle that is x plus 50 degree is equal to 115 degree to get the value of x you subtract 50 from 150 you will get the value of x similarly do all other questions now you can check your answers of question number 1 and question number 2 of the exercise that is all for today's class have a nice day